Hello everyone. So today I have a surprise haul. This package is from DaisoUS.com. So I don't have a Daiso out here in Tennessee, so the next best thing that I can do, aside from my really good friends in California getting stuff for me, is to order from Daiso. And now they've got a retail website um, for everybody to order from. They've always had Daiso, I believe it's Daiso Japan or Daiso Online maybe, uh, where you could buy wholesale. Um, anybody could buy, but you would have to buy it at bulk, in other words. And you know, I don't need 10 of one thing. Um, so when they, when I had seen on Instagram, when they posted on their stories that they had opened up Daiso US, Dot com, um, I immediately went and made a big order. So I've been waiting for this order for almost a month. Um, due to COVID, you know, they're limited because they've been getting so many orders. They don't have enough staff, I guess, in the warehouse to fill the orders. So yeah, it took that long. Plus, I didn't know that one of the items that I had ordered was back ordered, and it wasn't until I had asked them, hey, it's been almost like two and a half weeks. I haven't gotten a shipping notice what's going on. They got back to me and said that an item was back ordered. And then the following day, they um, emailed me again and asked me if I wanted to go ahead and just get a refund on that one item that was back ordered. And I said, yes, if it's going to make you ship my order faster, by all means, <laughs> refund me whatever was back ordered and get this in the mail. Well, of course, the snowpocalypse here in the south happened, so that delayed it even more. And then um, they shipped it out earlier this week, but then I kept getting shipping notices from you, EPS that it was gonna be delayed, 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 and then the last one I got said it wouldn't be here until uh, Monday. So imagine my surprise when I came home today after um, going out to dinner with my sisters and find this package. So I'm so eager to go ahead and open it up and I wanted to do the unboxing on camera. So let's get this, oops, opened up. Can't even, excuse me, cut in a straight line here. very thoughtful of them to put this there to prevent anything from getting um, cut. So I'm going to go ahead and put this box to the side and take out whatever I pull out first. So I got my invoice here. So I'm just going to put that right there for right now. Okay, so first things I'm pulling out. Um, now, mind you, they don't always have everything that they carry at the stores, um, in the Daiso stores, so there were still some things that I was not able to get, but hey, I grabbed what I could. Okay, so the first things I have here are, these are made out of canvas, they are washi tape holders. So I didn't even know that they had these until I saw them on the website, and I thought, ah, brilliant. I like the, the fact that they're, um, soft and makes it easy to um, carry the rolls that I want to carry around. So let's put that there. Okay. So I've got here a compact powder case. Um, I have something similar to, similar to this that I bought years ago from Daiso. And this is good for loose powder. If you have any kind of loose powder, I'm going to use this for um, some loose powder that I have because I've said this before, I have really oily skin. So I tend to, um, I'll powder up before I put on a mask. Okay. I've got some sticker flakes here. Sorry for the glare. These are, look like they're fashion related. There we go. So, I did order quite a few sets of sticker flakes that I saw. So then, I got this one here. These are hearts or, um, no, not hearts. They're just, you know, good times, good vibe, hooray, <laughs> that sort of thing. 
I mean, for $1.50, that's not bad, you know? And then I got this one here. These are die cut clips. So they're, um, as you can see here, they're like deck of cards related. I think these are really cute. So I got those. Um, I picked up this, um, let's see, there we go. This cutter oh, and stapler remover. So this is really good for removing staples because I kind of like this better than the, the little jaw type. I don't know if you can see right here. You would, there's like a little silver piece that you would slide underneath the staple to remove it. I have something similar to this that I bought a long time ago, but I wanted to have something as a backup. <clears throat> Here, soap bag. Um, you just put your bar of soap in it to, and you can hang it to prevent, you know, the soap from melting. I wanted to try that. This is only $1.50. Um, let's see, these are, now I got these, they call them underlays, but they're pencil boards or, I can't remember how to pronounce the Japanese, but, um, these are, I believe these are A5 or B6. No, these are A5. Doesn't say on here, but I know these are A5. So I ordered two because I wanted to be sure that I'd at least get the, um, the ones with the dogs. So um, pencil boards are basically, you just slip them underneath the piece of paper um, so that you have a smooth surface to write um, underneath and you're not, you know, you're not getting the impression on the next page. Um, I love these types of things because I tend to write a little bit with a heavy hand. So, um, like at work, when I'm doing patient intakes, I actually took a cutting mat from the Dollar Tree and cut it, you know, into a letter size and I keep that underneath the paper intake um, when I'm doing the intakes on the phone. So. These, I, I might just, you know, use this, but I don't know. It might be too small. We'll see. Um, I got this uh, template ruler here because um, uh, that way I can draw perfect circles. <laughs> uh, mostly for the circles, okay? And, um, yeah. So, let's see what else I got here. Okay. I know my friend Clarissa turned me his corner going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you ordered that. But yeah, I did. Because like you, if um, if I had a Daisu here, I would make sure I would always buy freaking double-sided tape. So that's what I ordered here. I got the, this is 15 millimeter. And I don't know if this is one she sent to me before. Because I had so many different ones and I wasn't sure what the difference was. Okay, this is clear, yeah, strong, double-sided tape. This one is um, 20 millimeter, and look how thick, oh, I'm sorry, I probably was out of camera the whole time. Okay, so this one right here is the 15 millimeter, okay? So it's this size, and then you've got the 20 right here. See how, oh, there we go, once again, I'm out of camera. Okay, um, this is the 20 millimeter. Okay, pretty thick, or rather wide, okay, but you do get a lot. This one you get, I'm trying to see here, how many inches, 21, 21 yards. This one you get 16 yards. This is another, um, see this one's 15 millimeter, and then this one is also 15 millimeter. It is double-sided paper. See, that's so weird because it's like, what's, I, I have to try this. I don't think I have this one. And this one is, um, 21 yards. See, it's like, I guess I'll find out what the difference is. And then I got some foam tape. This one is uh, 20 millimeter and this is six yards. I used the one from, um, Dollar Tree. So, uh, let's see, this is 20, this is the 15, 
for the foam tape. I think, I thought there was another one, but I think, oh, here we go. This is a cloth, it says cloth adhesive tape. So this is all, this one's 20 meter, 20 meters. How wide is this? 38 millimeters. It's 65 feet. Now there is a reason why I ordered this because uh, when my mom goes to the Philippines, she always brings her stuff in boxes, as they call balak buy-in boxes. And these, this tape is like really, really strong. It's not gonna tear up like just regular packing tape. So I wanted to try this and see if this is any good. I mean, for $1.50, that's absolutely great compared to spending like six or seven dollars on a roll um, from here. Okay. So I got these magnet bookmarkers, which are really pretty. They look like um, perfume bottles. Okay. So, and then I got, haha, thought this was cute. Hold on here. These are design stickers, and they're all little cats. Aww. So, and then I got more sticker flakes. So I'll just put that here. Um, this one are, you know, it's just very girly. It's good for my Hobonichi. So here are the, okay, like with the gems and stuff like that. Um, I got this pack of very, very pretty envelopes with Mount Fuji for, um, you know, with the cherry blossoms. I just think this is really cute. It'll be good to like, you know, put inside of, um, the traveler's notebooks on a page, you know, to insert like pictures or, you know, things like that. Oh, see, I got another one of these. This one is with a black cover, um, the compact powder case. So I got two. Um, uh, here's another sticker flake set. Okay. This one is like almost like a Kind of like a, an American diner theme. I know you can't see because of this, but yeah, it's got like diner type of signs on it. Okay. And it looks like I've got some washi here. So I got this one, which focus. It's roll stickers and it's like a candy shop. Here we go. This is what you get on it. Not a very big roll, you know, but hey, not bad. It's still for $1.50. I got this um, airmail type one. It's called a zipper, zipper stickers. It's kind of strange, but still. Oh, okay. I see. So you pull it off like a zipper. Ha, hilarious. And then I got this one here. It's another roll seal as they call it, but it's still washy. Um, these are perfume bottles. Okay, focus. Doesn't seem to want to focus. Okay. So, um, now, these are pencil caps, okay? So, you know, when you've got a sharp pencil, um, you don't want those points to break, so you put a cap on it, okay? And yeah, I do use pencil at work sometimes, so I wanted to um, try that. Okay, and then I got this very tiny perfume atomizer. So cute. Very, very small. So I was gonna try putting some of my body spray in that. Um, you know, you want to smell fresh. Okay. So then I also got this <clears throat> little spray bottle. I've bought some spray bottles from um, Daiso before, and they're very fine mist. I do like their bottle, so that's the reason why I made sure to get one of these again. Um, I ordered their cotton puffs. You get two boxes, and each box has 100. No, sorry, not 100, 90 pieces. So, still not bad. I've ordered, well not ordered, but I've bought cotton puffs before 
from Daiso. Um, when I was in Japan in 2019, the one Daiso that I was able to go to, I was looking for these things and for whatever reason I could not find any. It was like they're sold out in that one, you know, Daiso. Strange. I also got their um, makeup pads or cotton pads. I've never tried these from there and they look like they're going to be really good from the way that they're sewn. I don't know if you can see if I can focus. See that they're stitched the way that they're stitched. 160 pieces is not bad for $1.50. And I get those damn um, whispers ones from Walmart and they're like freaking $2.99. You only get 90, I think. So the last piece, or rather the last things that I ordered, and this is what got me so excited to begin with when I saw them on the website. And I've shown this before are my holy grail eyebrow coat okay i got oops five my friend cat was able to send me two she was only able to find two i think or did she send me three she might have sent me three but you know they're so hard to find and i, I always want to like make sure i have like i don't know 10 or 15 of these because you just never know when i'm not going to find them again and then i'll have to go back to using that model in a bottle which um is a lot more expensive. These are just a dollar fifty. So yeah, this is my DaisoUS.com haul. So I'm probably going to put another order in because there's a couple of things that they didn't have when I made the order that they do have now. Oh, I do remember what they had back ordered. It was um, tape. It that it said on there double sided tape with a cutter. So. They don't have it and I was just curious as to what this cutter was you know if it's like something that clamps on and I'm able to like just tear it off even more easily so yeah that's my order and hope you guys are having a good weekend all right bye bye Thank you.